welcome back to another Tuesday Tips and Tricks. Today I am going to show you how to put together one of our uh, single easy wick setter tools and then how to use it to center your wick and adhere it to the bottom of your jar. Um, so first we're going to break this down and then I'm going to show you how to put everything together. Okay, so first off we have all of the pieces here for our uh, single easy wick setter tool. And first, I'm just going to show you how to put it all together. So this right here is the base that actually fits down inside of your jar. And what we're gonna do first is take the tube here and put it up through the middle of the wick setter tool. And then next we're gonna take our spring and put that on. And then the little piece of PVC, we're gonna slip that over the spring and then just take this little uh, bolt here and for now we're not going to tighten it we're just going to put it down on the tube and then finally the plunger handle and we're going to push that on there really well and then the next thing we're going to do is take our uh, container whichever jar you're going to be using and we need to adjust um, for the height of the jar. So we're just gonna fit it snugly down in there. You can see the plunger is reaching all the way down to the bottom of the jar. And what you wanna do is take this little ring here and push down on the spring. And while you're holding that down, you wanna tighten that little screw on the side. And now when we let go of it, you'll see it kind of pops up. And now I have room to push the wick down inside of the jar. So now all we need is a wick, which I have right here. And all you do is you thread that wick up through the center of the tube. This is a magnet down at the bottom and it's going to grab the wick. It's holding on to it really well there. And then we're going to wick this jar here. I'm just going to take a sheet of my wick stickers, just like that, and push the wick sticker onto the bottom of the wick tab. And then the easy wick setter tool is going to perfectly center my wick for me. So then all I need to do is just let it fall and then push it down for a couple of seconds. And then whenever we pull this out, the wick is perfectly centered in the jar. That's it, guys. We hope you enjoyed today's uh, tips and tricks. Come back next week and we'll show you more. Mm -hmm.